In this video, we're going to evaluate the integral of x to the fifth e to the 2x to the third power. I'm going to give this a try. Go ahead and pause the video, and I'll be right back. Now, in this particular problem, I've seen some do it using several substitutions, reducing the power on the on the x there, and then eventually doing integration by parts. It's a little bit lengthy. I'm just going to use the standard method of, in, of uh, integration by parts to start off with. Basic formula here. Integral of u dv equals to the product of u and v minus the integral of v du. So we select the two parts. One we're going to differentiate. The other one we're going to integrate. So what I'm going to do here is you're going to break up this integral this way. I'm going to let u equal to x cubed. I'm going to let db equal to x squared e to the 2x cubed. So then du would be the derivative of x cubed, which would be 3 x squared, and this would be dx. And then dv, I want to integrate both sides here. Over here with respect to v, it will give me a v. And over here with respect to x, notice the derivative of the exponent of the exponential 2x to the third is 6x squared. Which is convenient because I have an x squared right there. So if you were to use a standard u substitution on this, you would let u equal to 2x cubed. But we can just do it this way and say, okay, this will be e to the 2x cubed. We get a factor of 6, so this will be 1, 6 right here. And then we just can check it. Take the derivative of this. The derivative of an exponential times a constant is the exponential and the same constant times the derivative of the exponent. The derivative of 2x cubed is 6x squared. A6 and the 1, 6 will cancel. It gives me the x squared, so it checks. Then we just put this together then. Integration by parts tells you once you set your u and dv and find your v, which we have. There's v here, and there's u here. The first part of the answer to the integration by parts problem is the product of u and v. So u is x cubed. So I've got an x cubed here times v. So that's a 1, 6. I'll, put, I'll write it this way, over, over 6 there. And this is e to the 2x cubed. And then it has a minus, and we have an integral involved here. So it's the integral of v du. So it's 1, 6. I put the 1, 6 out in front here. v is 1, 6 e to the 2x cubed. And then it's times du. There's your du right there. So it's going to be a times 3x squared. That'll be a dx. Okay, now we just have to integrate this right here. Notice again, the exponent of e is 2x cubed, and the coefficient is 3x squared. So the derivative of 2x cubed is 6x squared, and we got the x root in front. So we have this then. To the third, e to the 2x cubed power over 6. This is a minus 1, 6. And then in here, if I let the u equal 2x to the third, that would give me x, the derivative would be 6x squared. So that would give me a factor of 6. So this would give me 3 over 6. That would be 1 half here. And the integral then of that would be e to the 2x cubed. Okay, check it. Take the derivative. So let's take the derivative of this. Forget about the negative 1, 6. That's outside the radical, or the uh, integral. So we take the derivative of this exponential here with a coefficient of 1 half. The derivative is the exponential, e to the 2x cubed, times the derivative of the exponent, which is 6x squared. That would give me, then, 3x squared. Okay? The derivative of 1 half e to the 2x cubed will give me 6x squared times the 1 half will give me this coefficient right here. 6x squared times 1 half 
gives me this. So it checks that this here is the derivative of this integrand here. So what do we have left? Then we just go ahead and write this out then as x to the third e to the 2x cubed. And anticipating the denominator to be 12, I'm going to multiply this one by 2 and 2 here. 2 on top and 2 in the bottom, that'll give me a 2 x cubed e to the 2x cubed over 12. And over here in this one, one minus 1 6 and 1 half, that's going to be minus 1 12th. And I'm left with e to the 2x cubed here, plus the constant of integration. And sometimes the answer in the back, if you're, you're working problems from your textbook, might not check. So this is the, that's the answer, but you can just rewrite it or simplify it here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out at a 12 here, at a 12 here, minus 1 12. I'll factor out a 1 12 there. And also I needed the 2x cubed. So factoring out a 1 half, oh I'm sorry, 1 12th. e to the 2x cubed, then I'll have in parentheses then 2x cubed. Okay, from this one, factoring out the 1 12th, and the e to the 2x cubed gives me a minus 1, plus the constant of integration. So this is your final answer. 1 12th e to the 2x cubed, multiplied in parentheses there by 2x cubed minus 1, plus the constant. Now this is one way to do this particular problem. Like I said, there could be another way that's a little shorter. There could be some other ways that you get the same answer, but it might be a little longer. Let me know what you did. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.